All right, so I'm going to put together a kit from Maker Farm. It's Greg's Accessible Extruder. Obviously, you can source all these parts yourself. But uh, I'm at a point on my printer that I really wanted to just get it done. So I ordered everything. I'm going to get this thing working here. Notice that it'll start slipping. Um, you can uh, turn up the power on your extruder. Um, there's a little more power. Just can't really hang. These are little ears that keep the plastic from warping while it's being printed, so. It's a 5 16 inch drill bit. So if you have parts that don't really want to go in, I definitely suggest uh, getting it a little bit warm. It's better than accidentally cracking your, your thing. So we're just going to make sure that this uh, bearing is all the way in there. Just kind of snug it down a little bit. Then we're going to get a little bit loose. And we can put this other nut on here. And this nuts to lock it down. So an M3 nut goes in here. And then this little uh, M3 stud set screw. So if the gears are too tight and it's hard to turn them you might have to wobble out these uh, holes a little more just so that you can get adjusted it out a little bit so that uh, it's not undue stress on their uh, motor here all right so this plastic block here needs to be cut, cut off so this can fit in there I'm putting a lock nut on just because I have a bunch of them. And then you need some M3 nuts in here, which is tons of fun.
So I'm going to use 832 screws to hold this on. I'm going to use an aluminum bracket. Obviously you could print something to do this, but I had this and uh, I, think, uh, I think it's going to work. Yeah, I didn't show you. What I did is I tilted this thing over and pulled the screws up and or the nuts up and then screwed them in. Got this thing here. Making sure my clearance is fine. So yeah, even though this uh, extruder is set up for three millimeter. I'm thinking that we're 1.7 will work just fine. So this thing's still too tight, man. It's just just a tad too tight. If you try to turn it right here, you can have trouble. So I'm gonna have to adjust a little more, get it out just a tad. Yeah, I may, may messed up the holes enough that I'm having to do this. Longer screws with a washer on top. Finally got it where I want it. I mean, it's not, it's not sloppy. I mean, it's touching pretty good, but there's no undue uh, drag just caused because the gears are too tight on each other. So.